With so many options available at the pet store, how do you know which collar is right for your dog? It is very important to choose the right collar for your dog. And for that, you need to understand the purpose of the collar. What are the pros and cons of using it? Today, we're gonna to learn about the five most popular types of dog collar. But before we move ahead, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post our new video. So, our first is a flat collar, also known as quick release collar. You all must be pretty much familiar with this collar as it's the standard one. It comes in great variety from nylon to leather, which usually has a quick release clasp or metal buckle at the end. The pros of using this collar is that it is easily adjustable and simply attaches around your dog's neck by fastening the buckle or snapping back the clasp. It is gentle around your dog's neck if used properly. It is important to check the gap between the collar and your dog's neck with your two fingers to make sure his breathing is not constricted. The only con of this collar is Dogs who pull on a leash can choke themselves and not even realize it. Second, we have a martingale collar, also known as the half chain obedience collar, which fits like a flat collar and works as a choke collar. Often made out of nylon or similar material, it is also available in a variety of designs and materials, recommended especially for sight hounds, but can be used on most dog breeds. The pros of this collar are it prevents dogs from slipping out of the collar while walking on the leash. This part tightens up when you tug on a leash and its stopping mechanism snugs the collar tight enough around his neck to prevent him from escaping. The con of using this collar is it can cause damage to the neck if the dog pulls excessively over time or you can choke him if you pull too tight. Third, we have a choke chain or slip chain. So, to use it, simply slip the chain into the ring and it will make the shape of a P, like this. Make sure it is shaped like a P letter to you, so that as you check, it will loosen up easily. Otherwise, it won't release if you're doing it the wrong way. So, make the shape of P and put it over the front of your dog's face onto the neck. Simply attach the leash to the ring at the bottom, not to the links. The only benefit of this collar is, they are used only by trainers for training purposes because it is easy to physically overpower a strong, untrained dog when misbehaving. But due to its choking disadvantage, many dog trainers have moved away from the choke chain method because it can damage to the neck if the dog pulls or lunges frequently over time. Also, we would love to know what kind of dog collar you use most out of these five. Or if you use another one, tell us in the comments below. Fourth, we have a prong collar or pinch collar. If it is used correctly, it is a perfect training tool. It is used for correction during training, similar to slip chain collars. You can learn why and how to correctly put on a prong collar on your dog in our other video. So to open the collar first, hold the collar in your hands like this. Now pinch the link very tightly and unhook it to open the linking like this. Always remember, never put on the collar like this. You will poke the prongs into his eyes. The right way is, set the collar around his neck, then squeeze the link and hook it with the link on the other end to reconnect the links. The collar always has to be behind his ears and on the side of his neck, snuggling his neck tight enough. Then attach the leash to this loop along with a second collar. It can be a flat collar or any collar for extra safety because this collar has a great tendency of opening up due to its linking structure if it is loose on his neck. Also, we would recommend using a linking loop as it is more reliable for safety purposes. It gives more space to the leash hook to move around. Self-correcting for lunging or pulling is its only benefit, whereas the disadvantage of it is that your dog has to bear the pain of the prongs that will be digging on his skin. And the fifth one is a slip lead. But before we move ahead, 
a combination of a collar and lead. It has a ring on one side with a rope fed through it that will go around your dog's neck, just behind his ears, and a handle loop on the other end. Slip leads adjust to the size of any dog's neck and the stopper makes it impossible for dogs to back out of them. The lead comes in very stylish and colorful reflective threads. The pros of the lead are, it is comfortable for both the dog and the human. Tighten and loosen smoothly and have a stopper to prevent the lead from loosening too much and can be converted into another training tool like a harness. The serious disadvantage of using a slip lead is strangulation. A dog should never be left unattended with the slip lead on because the dog can strangle his neck in the slip lead that will tighten up continuously on pulling and can choke him if the pressure is not released. When choosing a collar to have your dog walk alongside you without pulling, the flat collar is the ideal option. Rest collars in the market are only intended to be used for training purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow dog parents. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.